What is up guys and gals, it's me Thomas Santa one here and today we're back again with another Transformers figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers War for Cybertron. Uh, War for Cybertron Kingdom Netflix Cheetor. And yes, the box, I do have the box. This is the most dreary, drab looking box I've ever seen. Uh, as in fact, there's like very little detail. The only thing that's really detailed is the sides of the box. The front of the box, not really that much. Back of the box, get your figure product shots look in there. Um, and now, before anybody jumps down my throat and say, well, why didn't you get the regular Kingdom Cheetor? Well, first of all, the color scheme was wrong. Second of all, this one just was like ten times better and looked really, really show accurate. So... I'm going with the Beast Wars show accuracy, and uh, I don't give a darn about the rest of the rest of that series, the rest of the Netflix series. I really the Netflix series of toys, not not Kingdom itself, Netflix version it, it specifically. This is the only Netflix version one I will really ever get. I don't really think I need to get anything any other any other versions of this. Right? There's only two fight only <laughs> so yeah so coming to look at this figure I, I mean first of all it's very homage to the original uh, Beast Wars uh, Cheetor and like first thing being uh, is they got the eyes correct on the box the eyes are orange here in hand the eyes are green um, the color scheme looks pretty darn spot-on I mean, they did nail the, the cheetah print. I will say they did nail that really, really well. The paws are on ball joints, uh, so you can totally have those ball have those paws placed the way you want them, but I just want mine right there. And um, uh, for a, sort of a comparison, here he is with his wave mate, uh, Paleo Trex. Just picked this guy up today. No, nope, nope, not going that way. Uh, this guy is very fiddly, like very, very fiddly. So there you have Cheetor next to Paleotrex. And for one final comparison, here he is next to Black Arachnia. And the, the review for this one's coming soon. I have had several issues with it in the in recent days, so that's why there hasn't been a review for it. But yeah. And, uh, I think that's pretty much it, right? Right? That's it? For this, right? Yeah, I think that's it. So, without further ado, let's get the transformation started. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is kind of open the legs up in the back here. Um, just to kind of give you a little bit of clearance, you're going to want to remove this. And then, yeah, it pretty much just gets every, that just, get, that just gets this out of the way. And I guess we can start working on the figure. So as first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take the uh, this section here, bring the arm, bring the cheetah legs down, and split if it'll split open. There we go. And split this open, just like so. Uh, take the cheetah mouth, open it all the way up, and it will reveal a hidden cavity right there, which this peg right here is gonna go into that slot, that deep one at the end. Bring it down and accordion it like so, and then push this, and all of that will just lock together. And then we're gonna take the legs, kind of just kind of get the legs out of the way a little bit, and then push these uh, side panels in. Let's get the arms out of the way. Push them in to complete the ab section. Bring the head back on an angle because it is. You do have to reverse the head. To go into cheetah mode, uh, you cannot do it the other way. Uh, you're going to want to bend it at an angle, rotate it around, and bring it back like so. And we're on, we're pretty much on the almost on the home stretch here. Uh, for the arms, what you're going to want to do is rotate them inward, and then rotate the fist like that. So it will start out looking like this, and you're going to want it to go like that, and then rotate the arm, and there you go straighten out the cheetah legs now personally I think this could have been a little bit better this could have been like uh, you know that beast machines 
era looking Cheetor. But um, so then you're gonna, but pretty much that's that'd be nice. But um, you're gonna want to take the legs, pretty much fold them up, flip out the foot, fold up the legs, flip out the foot. Gonna make sure everything is all stable. Uh, the back pieces, uh, people try people try to make them look too much like the original Beast Wars, and I, I think it's nice and all, but they give us these really nice hinges. So, I mean, I pretty much just kind of fold them together to the point where they just you know kind of make a straight little line on the back here, and it kind of gives up that stupid looking weird backpack pose. But there you have. Netflix Cheetor in his robot mode, and my camera does not like to stay down. But anyhow, and as you can see, it is a very well done figure. If I do say so myself, I really think they outdid themselves with this one. The only thing that I can say that I really don't like about it is that there's none of this like dark metallic blue paint that is kind of covering up there. But I can live with it because it, you know it doesn't doesn't do half bad of a job anyway. And as for his accessory, uh, now the instructions tell you to have it like this, right? But we all know that's ridiculously dumb and looks ridiculously dumb. So what I do is I kind of just prop it up on his shoulder like he's a lumberjack. Make, makes it look a little bit better, doesn't it? So. Anyhow, so without further ado, let's get into some more comparisons. Here he is with his big boss bot Primal. And as you can see, it's a good scale. And because I don't feel like transforming these guys off camera and coming back because it's a pain in the butt, here he is next to Black Arachnia in his robot mode and, or not, Black Arachnia is not in a robot mode, but he is. So, Paleo Trucks is a bit of a pain to maneuver due to the several intricate pieces to his body type. And there he is next to Paleo Trucks. Oh. Bumblebee doesn't like cheats or apparently. Ever had that issue when you got like models around you and stuff like that? But, anyhow. So, all in all, I think this figure is quite nice. Um, I personally wouldn't, you know, recommend you go out and, if you know, like, buy him now, you know. I mean, if you if you can find him at a store for a decent price, I'd say go for it. Um, I paid less than 20 for this, so uh, if you really want, if you, like, if you really want to, check your Walmarts, check your Targets, check eBay, all that stuff. Um, check your local stores, uh, so... I mean, it's the best thing you can look do right now, because I, I mean, worst case scenario, go to eBay, or worst case scenario, go to Mercari even, uh, and you can be able, to, you'll be able to find this. So, without further ado, this is the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Netflix Deluxe Clash Cheetor, um, and this is Thomas Final One saying, "Don't forget to keep playing with them toys. Don't forget it." <laughs>